Okay, hire me because I need the money. Well, why not? You won't be sorry. Where are you going? To look for someone. Shelly? Even if I find her, she's not going to come in unless I can find a witness. Well, the father wouldn't have been stupid enough to molest the child in front of a witness. It's something Robin said in court. I wouldn't have a daddy anymore if either of us told. Well, wouldn't it have been smart to look for the witness before your client ran off? Thank you, Claudia. Unfortunately, it didn't register until I read it in the transcript. Well, look, what do you think about my going along? We're not girlfriends now. I'm just your lawyer. I'd really like something else to think about besides myself for a change. All right. But let me do the talking. ask you something. Do you think I come on like a steamroller? Uh, is this a trick question? Just tell me the truth. Yes. Yes? Oh, Hello? Hi, Mrs. Silva. Uh, sorry to bother you. I know you must be making dinner. Yes, I am. Is that chicken? It smells great. Who are you? Uh, we're representing Shelley Desmond. I'm sorry. This isn't a good time. We spoke to Mrs. Lindquist at the daycare. About what? She told us that your daughter Lynn and Robin are good friends, that Lynn used to go to the Desmond house after school. So? We were wondering if you noticed anything unusual about Lynn's behavior. No. Mrs. Silva, we have reason to believe that Carl Desmond's a child molester. It's a horrible thing to think about, but there's a possibility that... No, she's fine. Are you Lynn? Now, excuse me, I've got to go. Years ago, when I switched from aspirin to Tylenol. Okay, his license number, social security number. Don't worry, we're not gonna lie about your age. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of variety of different kinds out there. Here, fill this out. I'll be with you in one second. Here, you need a pencil? Who the hell are you? Wow, I like the attitude. You got any leather stuff? Hey, dirtbag. Wait a minute. It's very nice. I get a lot of clientele appreciate a strict woman. Stick with that. What the hell is this? No, oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. It doesn't work for you. You know what you should try? Maybe like a housewife fantasy. That'd be good. Troy Cavendish? Yeah, who's asking? Yeah, I'm the guy that rented you the office. Oh. Told me you rented it to a lawyer. Well, that's what he told me. Wait a minute, do I look like a lawyer? No, you look like a pimp. Hey, watch it. Hey, on the phone, you told me you were in the legal business. No, I didn't. I said I was in a legal business. Totally legal. And just what totally legal business is this? Escorts. Sure, in the back. A lot of lonely men out there. Somebody's got to take care of them. In other words, you're a pimp. And what are you? A bar girl? <laughs> well, a lady lawyer, huh? Well, listen, lady lawyer, you don't intimidate me, okay? I got a signed lease here, and I'll sue your butt if I feel like it. And I'm withholding rent till I get this carpet cleaned and the crown molding replaced. After that, we can talk seriously about window coverings. Thank you very much. Mrs. Silva? Hi. I hope this is a better time. I am warning you, if you don't stop this harassment, I'm calling the police. Uh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. No. Why? Yes, I'd like a police car. Maybe Lynn's Washington. father would like to hear about this? Prowlers. Uh, two female Caucasians. Because if you don't talk to us voluntarily... Please. Mrs. Silva, please. I have a daughter, too. She's 19 now, but I still worry about her. And if anybody ever hurt her... God, I'm sorry. I'm just so sorry that people hurt each other like this. 
Never mind. It's okay. Please. You seem like a nice woman. Can't you just leave us in peace? If I thought it would help Lynn, I would. But you don't even know anything about her. Only what I saw on her face. And your daughter's suffering, Mr. Silva. Time heals. It's what I have to believe. Not if she keeps it locked up inside. Please help her. But she's just a little girl. But she'd make a big difference in another little girl's life if she would testify at the custody hearing. How can you ask me to put her through all that? Because it's not just for Robin, it's for Lynn, too. If she faces the man down in court, she won't be a helpless victim any longer. Would you be there with her? Yes. Every step, I promise. the way we play. Want to stay and watch? I don't really have the time. I've got 24 hours left to produce my client in court. And I found another little girl that was molested by the father. Allegedly molested. Come on, man. I want to get in three chuckers. Right there. The bottom line is I got a good shot at winning this custody case if I can just get Shelly into court. I take it this is where I come in? I can't find her. So if you could mention it in your article that she should call her lawyer. Come on. Jack, we're knocking in. Yeah, just a minute. You know, the first article got so much notice. You know, I thought you'd be grateful for the follow-up. You're welcome. What? You're welcome for the first article. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you. Now, would you do something for me? Sure. Fix my stirrup. Just the first notch. <laughs> for luck. She'll even see this. Why don't you go home? This is still because I fired you, isn't it? Imagine. A tiny little thing like that. And blackballed me from being a partner last year. You really think it was my vote that kept you out? That's how I heard it. it wasn't even close. All the guys voted against you. I'm sorry. What about you? Well, you were right when you said I was a kiss-ass. Was this soul-bearing supposed to endear you? Don't be so damn condescending. You're not a perfect person either. Yeah? Yeah, you're a hothead and you're not so smart with people. I do all right. No, it even...